This is Green Wave Hockey on Frontier Community Access Television. Hi, and welcome to Green Wave Hockey. It's playoff time. Lou Bordeaux here on FCAT Sports. Glad to have you with us tonight. Western Mass Division 3A Championship game. The Wakona Warriors have come to play the Greenfield Green Wave. This, this is for all the marbles. At this time, I'd like to bring in Green Wave head coach Adam Bouchard to talk about tonight's game. Coach, welcome. Hey, Doc. This, this is three months down the road. This is what we're here for. This is what we've been building for. That's correct. You know, uh, extremely proud of these boys and how these student athletes have really bonded together from that first Monday after Thanksgiving uh, to be one of the last two teams in Division Three here, Western Mass, still playing on a 50-degree day. It's a great place to be. It is a great place to be. Uh, throughout the season, we've had to deal with adversity here, there, and everywhere, it seems. Uh, how do you feel the fellows have responded to it so far, and what are you looking for today? Yes, you know, that's been one of the words we definitely have been talking about all year long and how these student-athletes have had to face adversity, right? It starts off with our eight co-op schools, everybody coming together as one team. All the way through that adversity of playing a Wakona team that uh, when we went up to their barn, wasn't the outcome that we wanted. So, you know, these, these boys have gone through a lot of adversity and the perseverance they've shown throughout the year. We're really excited to see how they can bring it tonight. Sounds terrific. And really, Coach, when you look at the big picture here, uh, what does what being in the Western Mass Championship game mean for the Green Wave program overall, do you think? Yeah, you know, if you look at it, I believe this is the uh, fifth time in 78 years the Green Wave has played in a championship game, going one and three in the previous four times. You know, it's extremely important for our program from what we've started to grow from three years ago to where we are today. You know, these student athletes have put a really lot into this. You can, you'll be able to see tonight with all the mites and squirts and peewees here, it's really building the program from the high school level all the way down through the youth program to really have a green wave uh, program and play the green wave way. Well, it's kind of exciting because the lay of the land here in the Olympia tonight, the Greenfield fans are gonna be on the far side, so a lot of them will end up on TV. Uh, they've got to be excited about that, and I think they're excited about the club here. So, good luck to all of us tonight. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're, we're very excited, and uh, all we're waiting for now is this clock to keep moving down so we can get this game going. So I Absolutely. really appreciate it, and let's go green. All right, good luck, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. So we're going to go up to Chris Collins and Todd Howe from Bear Country 95.3 for play-by-play -play in just a moment. Uh, I'll be back again after the game to recap what happened. So enjoy the game. This is Lou Bordeaux on FCAT Sports. This is Hockey Night in Greenfield, the Western Mass Division 3A Championship. Hello, hockey fans, and welcome to Olympia in West Springfield. Chris Collins and Todd Howe, our studio producer, is Dave Reno. Upcoming Greenfield, Wakona, and Todd Howe for all the marbles in Western Mass. Yeah, it's a fantastic evening. I tell you, this place is packed. They usually don't open up the upper shelf, but they have tonight at the Olympia here in West Springfield. And Greenfield, Wakona, Greenfield's actually looking for revenge there. One of their uh, few losses this year were against Wakona up in their house uh, by a score of four to three. And Wakona has one line that we're gonna be talking about as we go through this pregame show. Greenfield though, I think a much more balanced attack. They got a lot of depth and a lot of different line combinations. We're gonna take a quick two minute break and come back and reset the start of this one. It's Hockey Night in Greenfield. It's the Western Mass Division 3A Championship on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, 
Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Back out here at the Olympia in West Springfield, Chris Collins, Todd Howard, studio producer is Dave Reno. Upcoming the number one, Greenfield Green Wave takes on the number three, Wakona Warriors for the Western Mass Division 3A Championship. Todd Howe on the Wakona side of the puck. They got a couple of power guys that we have to keep an eye on. Yeah, they're led by by a group of three that they've been playing together since they were six years old. Uh, Mike Cullett, Mason Alfonso, Ryan LaPierre, and these guys, we talked earlier about the 4-3 to three loss Greenfield had to Wakona. These three guys racked up 10 points in that game. They were the difference makers. Unbelievable. And, of course, Jake Risley is the goalkeeper for the Wakona Warriors. He was really solid in that uh, the, the semifinal win that they had to get here over Amherst. Yeah, he's played well all year. I mean, he's the captain of the team. In that Amherst game, you know, how Wakona got here, they beat Amherst 3-1. to one. And during our broadcast, we talked about how few penalties were called. It was the complete opposite in that game. I don't think there was uh, uh, many times where they were 5-on-5. Five five. But uh, Wakona was able to kind of drudge through that. There's nothing tougher to, to be able to play uh, shorthanded and penalty power play. It's, it just gets out of control. You want to kind of have some 5-on-5 five five playing in used to the game. Greenfield has been able to, to run three lines pretty much consistently all year. Do you think we're going to see less less of that this and, and, and more of a concentration on two or three lines, two lines? I was actually thinking that they might go one, two, one, two, three, but I was talking to the coaching staff, and their plan is to keep what's working. And they're going to play all three lines. They're going to go with their depth. They're going to try and wear out Wakona. Wakona's playing on a bigger sheet of ice than their home rink. Uh, Greenfield coaches have also talked about the uh, when they're up in the Pittsfield area just trying to compete against them but you know we they, both teams have had their last two games on here Wakona has only given up one goal in their two playoff games too and of course Greenfield got here courtesy of a 4-2 win over the South Hadley Tigers a game that was very very exciting that occurred uh, last week and so the winner of this game goes on to play Lunenburg for the Division 3A state championship at 3 o'clock or 6.30 depending on who wins if Greenfield wins they play at 3 o'clock on Saturday at Holy Cross against Lunenburg who advanced with a victory over Hopedale the other night. So we'll see what happens there. One more two-minute break. We'll come back, starting lineups, National Anthem, and the beginning of this one. Wakona Greenfield for all the marbles in Division 3A Western Mass Hockey on Bear Country 95.3. All right. Here we go. This is going to be a good one. And we certainly have had a lot of fun this season watching this team, arguably one of the most exciting High school sports teams in the entire region, certainly in Western Mass, and a team really which has gelled together and has waited for this moment. I mean, you know, it takes a long time to build chemistry in any program, and they really have it this year. I mean, in spades, across the board. Yeah, one thing that's nice about the cooperative program is you're having kids who grew up playing with the Frank County Hockey Association, and what used to happen when they hit high school, they just went their different ways. Some some might be able to go to uh, prep schools, some go to other schools. We had Turners and Grief with the separate teams for a while. Well, now they're one unit, and so now they're able to do pretty much what those three guys we're talking about from Wakona really grow together. You might see, you know, Preston Charbonneau and his two buddies come all the way up from that point to playing high school hockey together, and we'll be up here in the booth doing the Western Mass Final then. We should mention that Wakona also is a cooperative team. They have team kids from Westfield, Wakona, and a bunch of different schools up in the Berkshire. So. The cooperative model works for hockey, I and mean, we're going to find out if it works for football in Greenfield coming up in the fall, but it really seems to work for this particular sport. Yeah, it really does. It's just nice, and it keeps it better competitive. The, the quality of competition was dropping. Rocho Sullivan and Adam Savoy, the line out there for Greenfield. We are underway as the puck is dropped and the game is on from the Olympia. Headman pass by Wakona. This is Ryan LaPierre pushing it up. Ice now Sullivan steals it at the red line. O'Sullivan. Quick wrist shot blocked by the defenseman. Second shot goes wide of the net. Rebound comes around to the far boards, and Wakona is able to clear back to center ice. Kevin Bauman comes over, takes a big hit in front of the Wakona bench, dumps it into Wakona territory. Savoy on a four check broken up, and the Warriors are able to clear it out. Bauman now goes back to Mike McGoldrick, his defensive party, who backhands it up to the Wakona blue line, and the Warriors will reset it from their own end of the ice. Up the left wing boards. This is 
Owen Krobuth. Pushes it into the corner, follows his play, goes behind the net, slides it behind, centering pass blocked. Forced the board, big hit in the corner, and Greenfield's able to get it out. Brian Bauman now left wing four check. Bauman one on two. Bauman at the circle, shot saved by Risley. Rebound deflected out by Wakona. Good bid early for Bauman. Nice play by Greenfield. Went end to end with that. Bauman avoided a couple of powered hits on his own. Bauman now with it left side in the high slot. Shot blocked in front, knocked around the net, and out by Wakona. Now in front of the Greenfield bench, this is Devine Lampron with it. Goes right wing, and it's dumped in. Riley Drew knocks it loose. Bowie Harris falls down behind the net. Puck is behind the Greenfield net. Pushed up the boards, and Porter Clancy now trying to push it out of the zone. Kept in, wrist shot high over the net by Corey Bozonski, and they're gonna face it off outside the Greenfield zone with 13.26 to go. Well, I think the Tonton said early in this first minute and a half, we saw two huge hits, one from each side, and they're really going to start this whole body around, and uh, I think that's good for both teams. Wakona's a big team, but Greenfield can knock them down. Barnes, Prusak, Lenoy, the line out there for Greenfield. Faceoff goes into the Greenfield zone. Bryant back to get it. Forces it up the left wing boards and out. Deflected. This is not going to be icing again. It's deflected off a Wakona player. Back after for the Warriors is Trey Massaro, one of the assistant captains. He backhands it up the right wing boards. And the Warriors break it out, left side. This is Peplowski with it. Peplowski shot, saved by Drew. Puck is loose and skated up and back out by Bowie Harris. Harris into center ice, backhands into the Wakona zone. Back to get it is Corey Bozanski again. The defenseman goes behind the net to Mike Cullet. Back all the way around. And Pruzak pins on the boards with Liam Anderson. Goes back to the point. Brian, a wrist shot from the point, blocked out of the zone. And it comes all the way to the Greenfield bench. O'Sullivan now backhands it up, but stolen back by Wakona. Lapierre goes right side to Alfonso. Alfonso takes a hit. Puck pushed into Greenfield territory, and Barnes will backhand it up, but it hits the referee, so it's kept in. Wrist shot from the point, saved by Drew. That came through a screen. And Aiden Roach now swings the net. Roach had the game winner against South Hadley. Up the left side, skates it out. Loses control. Now Roach still with it. Roach now. Left side. Roach. Tough angle. Falls down. No call as looked like it could have been a trip there, but they didn't call it. And Wakona ices to relieve the pressure. They'll bring it down and face it off next to Risley with 12.02 to go in the first. That play by Roach was just one of those things. Once, once he realized he wasn't going to get a good shot off, if he went down, I think they were going to call a penalty on that. But he just continued on. He kept his balance and just went too deep in the corner. And the referee said, okay. You know, you weren't going to get shot off anyway, so we're going to let play continue. But Griefel, I think, got a little lucky in that line change. The guy jumped on the ice, played the puck immediately. Could have easily been too many men on the ice. Bauman now on the draw for Greenfield. Back to the point. MJ Pollen with a snapshot. Deflected wide of Risley. Rebound goes behind the net. Centering pass blocked by Clancy. Back to Kevin Bauman at the point. Who knocks it back down low behind the Wakona net. Bauman now behind the net trying to knock it loose. Knight tries to slide it in front. It's deflected out and skated out now by Wakona. This is Lapierre, the captain. Lapierre beats his man, shot, score! Ryan Lapierre went right around the defenseman, and Wakona draws first, bud, 1-0. Yeah, end-to-end, -end, uh, Lapierre took the puck out. I think he took it from his own zone. Uh, got the pass out here in center ice, and he went on his offside, and the defenseman just didn't have a good angle, and he had the speed. He just kept going and going, and he snuck one underneath the uh, armpit of Drew and puts Wakona up 2-1 on just their second shot of the game. Just flat out beat his, four, his defenseman. And it's 1-0 Wakona, 11.35 to go in period number one from the Olympia. Alfonso off the draw, pushes it up into Greenfield territory. McGoldrick now goes up the boards, looking for Lenoy. Deflected down, this is gonna be offside. Oh, yeah, I should be offside, yeah, because there was a Wakona player still in the zone, hadn't cleared, and they'll face it off at the Greenfield blue line. Yeah, nothing for Greenfield to get worried about. We only had three shots on net, and that was a good shot. And again, it's just one of those times where the defenseman's judging the speed of the player coming at him, and he misjudged it. Barnes, Lenoy, and Cruz at the line out there for Greenfield. Face off control by Lacona. They push it to the far boards. Going after it is Bozanski. He pushes it into Greenfield territory. Mikey McCulbert now to Lenoy, who backhands it up the boards. Kept in, though, by Lampron. And the puck is down low. Centering pass. Nobody there for Lacona. Now a turnaround, a shot, a save by Drew, cut the angle by Kaplowski, second shot, and a save by Drew, and he covers it up, Kaplowski, two bids right there. 
two bids and Riley Drew was very aggressive. He came way out of his net to block the angle down. I thought that there was a little room in his right, but he covered it up with his uh, quick glove hand. And, you know, great start for Wakona. They're out shooting Greenfield 4-1, to one, and uh, for the last few minutes, the play's been in the Greenfield defensive zone. Face off to the right of Drew. 11-0-3 to go, period number one. one nothing Wakona. Poploski now from the draw, from the board. Shot blocked, and it's cleared out. Roach now. Roach after it on the left wing into Wakona territory. Shot saved by Risley. Rebound comes around to the far boards. Savoy now. Savoy comes off the boards with it. Slides across. Nobody there. Roach now goes into the corner, bumping. Savoy in there to help out behind the Wakona net. They slide it in front. Turnaround. Shot saved by Risley. Rebound. Sullivan saved. And Risley covers up two big saves by Jake Risley. Greenfield's best chance of the game right there. They had a, they had a good play on two on one, and it was just too far ahead of the winger. But they came back in, and they had two, three shots. I think they gave him credit for two. But the goalie was up to the task. He made another good, aggressive play. You can tell already these two goaltenders, they're not going to be sitting back in their nets. They're going to come out and block those angles. The Bauman line is out there with Bowie Harris and Jacob Bryant on defense. Faceoff goes to the boards. Bauman shoots it from the side, blocked. And Wakona is able to clear the zone. And now we've got Bauman loses a stick. Bryant swings it around his own net. Jake Bryant fires it up the left wing boards and out. Wakona now with it. Center ice knocks it back into Greenfield territory. Bryant now collects it and goes wide to Porter Clancy. Clancy takes a hit at center ice. Puck is knocked loose. Wakona recovers. The Warriors, Alfonso trying to break in, broken up, and it's knocked back down to the Wakona end of the ice. Back to get it is Ernie Lampron and swings it around the net looking for Alfonso who checks it out of the zone. Now this is Colbuck now on a four check in the Greenfield territory. And the wave's able to clear. Head man pass to Kruzak. Kruzak one on one. Kruzak into Wakona territory. Shot blocked by the defense. A nice play by Lampron to come over and knock that puck away on that shot. Now Kevin Bauman takes it at the blue line. Now Lenoy, Lenoy in the slot. Lenoy shot blocked. Rebound loose. And big scrum in front of the net. Puck dislodged back to Kevin Bowen at the point. Shot deflected wide by one of the defensemen. Oh, big scrum in front. Big chance for Greenfield. Well, if there's any question on whether either of these want this game, all I got to do is watch that part of the There were bodies flying everywhere to block that puck. There was a scrum in front of the goalie with four guys, and the puck was loose. The referee had his eyes on it the whole time, so he was not blowing the whistle. And uh, Greenfield had good scoring opportunities, but like I said, you had defense when you had wingers, everybody diving in front of that puck to make sure it doesn't get through to the net. Face off to the left of Risley, 9-12 to go in period 1-1-0 one, one, Wakona. Face off, push to the boards, battle for it at the point, and Wakona comes away with it. This is Divine Lampron. Lampron being guarded by Rauman, a shot a saved by Riley Drew, and he hangs on and covers, and again, speedy move by Divine Lampron up the left wing. Yeah, it looks like Wakona is trying to take uh, advantage of their speed against the Greenfield D, and they're just turning it on. That's another quality shot. I thought Riley Drew might have cheated a little bit too much toward the post, but he's smarter than I am. Is exactly where he shot. He got it right on the crest. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. 8.59 to go in period one. Draw goes into the corner. Rice now behind the net, goes back up the right wing boards. Peploski is there. Peploski takes the bump from Brian Bauman. Centering pass stolen by Bauman. He goes behind his own net. And Brian will skate it up the left side. Bauman pushes up ahead looking for Roach. Deflected by the defenseman of Wakona. Sent right back to the Greenfield zone. Mikey McColdrick backhands up the right wing boards. Bauman's got to get off. Quick line change. Wakona knocks it up into the center part of the rink. And it's taken by O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan in his own blue line. Head man to Roach. Roach will backhand it into Wakona territory. Trying to set up O'Sullivan. And this is going to be, I believe, a high stick. Yeah, high stick on Wakona, so they'll have to face off to the right of the goaltender in the Greenfield offensive zone. But both teams are playing well. I can tell you right now, we're seeing some good skating teams. This is some good hockey. We're seeing some quality hockey. It's not just dump and chase. And they're both trying to bring it in. Every time they're bringing a puck in the zone, they're trying to get a scoring opportunity out of the play. Bauman line is out there with Knight and Porter Clancy, Harris, and Bryant on defense. Bryant of the draw, shot blocked. And the puck comes out to center ice. Good win by Bauman. They got to win those faceoffs as much as possible tonight. Puck dropped in behind the Greenfield net. Bryant now swings it back around to the right wing boards. Clancy now bumping with Ryan Lapierre. Puck goes behind the Greenfield net. 
as the Warriors, ooh, cross-check. Harris just cross-checked Alfonso, got away with it. Alfonso tries to slide in front, deflected by Drew, and the puck caroms out to center ice. Clancy now after it. Porter Clancy nearly stole it at the blue line of Wakona, and the Warriors send it back down to the greenfield end of the ice. Bryant now behind the net. Backhands it up the boards. Not out, though. Kept in. Nice play at the point. Shot saved by Drew as that one had eyes, and Riley hangs on. They'll face it off with 7.34 to go in the first. Both sides looking good right now. I mean, it's a one nothing game halfway through the first period. I think we're seeing the size. We haven't seen much hitting after the first shift. It's kind of like they said, let's get out there. Let's, let's send the body message out. And we haven't heard much from it since, so we'll have to see if the hitting comes back in this period. The Barnes line is out there. Drag goes back to the right point for Wakona. Shot blocked by Barnes. And Barnes will skate it out left side. Kyle Barnes up the left side. Tries to slide it in front, deflected by Risley. Goes to the far boards. Big bump by Bauman, who took out Peplowski. Puck goes into the corner now. Greenfield trying to dig it out. On the right wing corner, battle on the wall for it. And the puck skips over Bauman's stick. Goes back to Greenfield territory. MJ Pollen back to get it. The sophomore slams it up ahead to Barnes. Barnes knocks it into Wakona territory. And the Warriors are able to clear the zone. Pollen slaps it back in. Ends up on the stick of Trey Massaro, who will skate it out for Wakona. Massaro backhands it into Greenfield territory. Pollen after it. MJ behind the net. Backhands it up the boards. Looking for O'Sullivan now. O'Sullivan has it. He'll go all the way to the left side looking for Roach. And Aiden Roach now on the far wall. Trying to knock it. Grifo trying to clear the zone. And Roach finally does. Big hit though as Roach ran over Trey Massaro. And backhands into the Wakona end of the ice. O'Sullivan with a bump in the corner. Now Brian Bowman is out there. Tries to slide it in front. He gets hit. As the hitting starting to pick up on both sides of the, of the puck here. Now here's a steal at the blue line. This is O'Sullivan. Tries to slide it in front. Nobody there. Puck is loose. And it's forced to the boards. McColdrick at the point. Left point shot is blocked. Bauman's able to push it back in. And the Warriors are able to clear back to center ice. 5.52 to go in the first period. Wakona with a 1-0 lead. A 6-4 shot advantage over the green wave. Now Barnes steals it at center ice. Barnes over skates. Keeps it though. Barnes down on the right wing. Loses control in the corner. Barnes still digging after it. Takes a big hit, gets knocked down. Slides in front. Pruzak gets blown out. A lot of hitting on the Wakona Warriors right now. Flexing their muscles a bit. Now a two on two break. Headman pass to Lapierre, tries to split the D. Can't. Puck forced to the boards. McColdrick bumps him in the corner. Mikey McColdrick digging for it. As he wins that battle, slides it around the boards to Lenoy. And Lenoy is able to backhand it out. Takes a wicked hit from Lampron for his trouble. Well, like I said, once I said they weren't hitting, they certainly revved it up this shift. This is Kobeth with a shot. Actually deflected wide behind the net. Comes back around. Headman pass. Pruzak now after it. And he neglects to pick up the puck and ends up getting off the ice. Now Bryant with a steal. Jacob Bryant. And it's going to be offsides, I believe, is the call. And they'll face it off at the blue line with 4.47 to go. Yeah, I don't know if there was any other player on the blue line, so uh, Bryant might have been off on his own. And the puck was just bouncing. It wasn't anything that he did. It's just unfortunate because I think if he controlled that puck, there's definitely going to be a quality scoring opportunity there for him. The power line's out there. Bauman is out there with O'Sullivan and Roach. First time that combination's been out there tonight. Bowie Harris now behind the net. Slams it around the right wing boards. O'Sullivan after it. O'Sullivan turns. Tries to knock it out. Kept in, though. By Wakona. Jake Bryant now. Up the board looking for O'Sullivan. Kept in by Wakona. Now a backhand pass out to Roach. Aiden Roach cycles through. Top of the slot. Shot just goes wide. Bauman follows the rebound. Knocks it back down low. Roach goes into the corner after it to O'Sullivan behind the net. Slides it in front. Bauman turnaround shot. Saved by Risley. And the rebound deflected and cleared out by Wakona. Good bid there in the high slot by Brian Bauman. Yeah, one thing we didn't talk much about was with Greenfield being the number one seed, they're given the home team, and they're given the last change. That shift and that opportunity right there was because of that, because I think they saw what Wakona put on the ice, and they said, power line, let's go. And they had good scoring opportunities, and I think uh, Bauman was just a little bit high in his shot from the slot. Barnes, Pruzak, and Lenoy, the line out there with Bauman and MJ Pollen on defense. Face off one by Greenfield. 
Back to the point, Pollen's able to keep it in. Pollen with a slap shot, blocked in front, goes behind the net. Comes all the way around to Pruzak. Shane Pruzak with it. Over to Barnes in the corner. Barnes trying to set up Lenoy in front, gets broken up. Now Kevin Bauman pinches, keeps it in. Barnes slides it in front, shot by Illinois, blocked in front, Pruzak shot, saved by Risley, rebound. Pruzak trying to backhand it ahead. Goes behind the Wakona net, and the Warriors again dodge a bullet, and they clear it out of the zone. Barnes now, falls down at the blue line, loses control, and now here comes Ryan LaPierre. LaPierre trying to beat Pollen, and Pollen does a good job poking the puck away. Centering pass shot, blocked in front, second shot, saved by Drew as Cullet was camped, and the Wave was able to clear it out. Yeah, Greenfield needs a line change. They had uh, what I call the 2-3-8 line out there, and uh, they kept the offensive challenge on. Cullet now with it in the Greenfield territory. Kicks an elbow from Bar from uh, um, Roach, and Pollen now behind the net. Forces it up the right side. McGoldrick now after it. McGoldrick backhands it out of the Greenfield zone. 2.52 to go, period one. one nothing. Wakona Warriors. And now Krobeth now with it. Into Greenfield Terry. Terry shot wide. Pollen on the far side boards, and he will ice it. And they'll bring it back down and face it off with 2.36 to go in period one. Yeah, with only two and a half minutes left. Wakona just has a slight shot advantage of seven to six. Both teams are taking the opportunities when they come. And I think uh, Greenfield just needs to kind of settle down on the faceoffs. Let's win some of these. I think that's making their challenge a little bit tougher here. Um, they just want to gain control of that puck right from the get-go. Barnes line back out there. Liam Anderson on the draw for Wakona. And Wakona wins it. Quick shot saved by Drew as Macero labeled that one. Puck goes to the gear boards. And now Lenoy up the right side. Lenoy with it. Lenoy cycles down low behind the net. Lenoy trying to slide it in front. Looking for Barnes. Barnes comes back around the net. They're in the Wakona end of the building. And now a big hit by Greenfield as the Warriors try to clear. And a big hit by Bryant who took out Liam Anderson. Now Barnes from the dot. Shot to save by Risley. Saw it all the way. Some jousting behind the net. They'll face it off to the right of Risley with 2.02 to go in period one. Bryant should be glad he's not sitting in the penalty box. The uh, player for Wakona had his back to him. He hit him from behind. He could have called that. He didn't touch the puck yet. He could have called that. So I think Wakona got a little upset and then throw on top of that. Greenfield had a scoring opportunity. So uh, good for Greenfield. Wakona not happy. Power lines out there for Greenfield. Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach. Harris and Bryant on defense. And the draw. Controlled temporarily by Greenfield, then cleared out by Wakona. Roach tries to push it back in. That's going to be offside, so they'll face it off at the blue line. Just a minute 54 left. Both teams kind of uh, playing a little central ice, dump it in. They, they kind of change their pace a little bit. We'll see how it continues for the end of this period. Draw control by Wakona. And the Warriors will take it up through center ice. Headman pass by Krobeth. Now the puck is loose in front of Riley Drew as bearing down was LaPierre. Puck deflected behind the net and we've got a whistle as the puck, I think the ref lost control or sight of the puck. Yeah, there was a Wakona player down. I thought it was underneath him, but the referees didn't see it that way because the faceoff's going to stay inside the zone for uh, Wakona just to the uh, right of Drew. It's right to the right of Drew. 137 to go in the first. one nothing Wakona. O'Sullivan off the draw. Pushes it to the boards. Now a battle in the corner. Bauman gets knocked down. It's Brian. Centering pass in front. Skips over the, sk the stick of the Wakona player. And Greenfield breaks it out. Roach and Bauman now. Two on two. Roach goes wide. Roach shot. Save. Roach swings the net. Shot. Short side shots. Hits the side of the net. Bauman now after it. Brian back to Kevin. Kevin with the shot. Blocked by Wakona's defenseman. And into the corner. So a couple of good opportunities there for Greenfield. McColdrick pinches and keeps it in. And the clearing pass goes behind the net. O'Sullivan now with it. Trying to bring it out of the corner. Gets poke checked. And cleared out by Wakona. Actually goes into the Wakona bench. Face off will be at the Wakona blue line with 54.0 seconds left in the first. Yeah, went off the glove of the defenseman for Greenfield. So they're going to keep it just outside the zone. Uh, Kevin Bowen just kind of reaches his glove up, try and stop it. 
Uh, if he let it go, it probably would have been icing. So a little unfortunate, but faceoff is uh, just outside the offensive zone. Barnes line is out there with Bryant and Bowie Harris on defense. Faceoff goes into Wakona territory, and they dump it back out. Headman pass now. Lenoy from the corner. Shot save. Risley rebound. Open net. Nobody there to shoot at home. Risley is down behind the play as he got collided with. And Jake Risley looks like he's hurt. Yeah, he got run over on the play, and it it wasn't just a single player. Uh, looks like it was Barnes with a defenseman from Wakona landing on top of him. He's still down. Yeah, Risley has not moved since he got hit. Now he gets up. Sands helmet. But that was as close as you're going to get. A wide open net. Puzak just could not get a handle on the shot. No, and I, I was wondering, you know, why no one was getting up, and it's because there was a pile on top of the goaltender, so no one could really move. Uh, looks like they're going to bring the face off. Oh, the two refs are kind of discussing it. But, uh, I mean, this is big. 37 seconds left. And Greenfield would like to have the uh, face off in the offensive zone. Friggin' the whistle was because the goalie was down without his helmet. And it looks like they're going to say he was down and out because of the Greenfield player lying on top of him. So comes right outside the zone. A little, little hurt to Greenfield, but like I said, one of the things I think they need to start doing is winning some faceoffs. Faceoff at the blue line of Wakona. It's deflected all the way down to Risley, who will hang on to it. Not a faceoff will be inside the Wakona zone. I well, we just had to wait three seconds for it. <laughs> yeah, right. That was a, the Greenfield forward. Really, that one just threw it right on net, and uh, the goaltender just wanted to cover it up, take a, take a moment. And so now they'll have that offensive face zone here. To the left of Risley with 33.6 seconds left. Face off to the boards. Bauman tries to come away with it. Now Sullivan backhands it on Risley. Saved by Risley with Bauman down low looking for the rebound. Bauman gets the rebound, comes out of the corner. And here's a steal by Krobeth. Krobeth loses control. Actually, nice poke check. A little back checking there by the Greenfield defenseman. Shot from the point by LaPierre is deflected wide. Here comes Roach. Roach, 10 seconds left. Roach, trying to slide it in front, backhand style to Bauman. It goes behind the Wakona net. And that is how the period will end. We played one period for the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield. At the end of one period, the Wakona Warriors won. The Greenfield Green Wave, nothing. We'll take a one minute break. We'll come back. We'll do the between periods thing. Next, this is Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. Back out here at the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield, Chris Collins, Todd Howard, studio producer is Dave Reno. At the end of one period of play, the Lacona Warriors lead the Greenfield Greenway by a score of one to nothing. Greenfield actually outshot Lacona 10 to nine in that period, a pretty even period. Both the teams had some good opportunities, but uh, Lacona just one goal better. One goal better, uh, took took advantage of probably their best opportunity. And we warned you before the game, LaPierre was one of the three guys on the Lakota team to look out for. And that goal was all his. He went around the defense when he saw he had an opportunity. He was on his offside, so he pulled it back onto his forehand and slipped it underneath uh, Riley Drew's armpit, put him up one to nothing. And like you said, the shots were 10 to nine. This really was a well-played period. Both teams are hitting, both teams are playing hard. There's been no penalties, there's been no dirty plays, I think. We saw that one hit from behind that Bryant could have been called on. Uh, they probably would have called an interference. Um, got away with that. But we're kind of looking at the same thing where the referee said, you know what, 
championship game, let him play. It's going to be obvious. It's going to be a scoring opportunity. And let's just hope we don't run into the same issue we had with the last game. I do think Greenfield was living dangerously a little bit in their own end, especially on the defensive end of the puck. A couple of caroms the other way, and this could have easily been a couple of goals that Wakona could have had just because they've got that great speed up front. And I think Greenfield, when they're back-checking, they've got to be a little bit, little bit more sure of what they're doing because these guys... They're very explosive, as we've seen, coming out of their own end. A couple of times, you know, they could have broken for easily for a breakaway or, or gotten out in the open ice, which is a dangerous situation. No, that's a good point. I mean, we, we saw some plays. I didn't see much back checking, and I think part of that is not that Greenfield isn't doing it. It's the fact that Wakona has some speed in this team. Not just size, but they got some speed, and they're playing well. And I, I think the other big thing is Greenfield really just has to start winning some face-offs and start with the puck in their possession right away from the drop. We are joined in the booth right now by the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux. So, Lou, uh, first period in the books, what are your thoughts? A uh, very even game, back and forth. Obviously, Wakona was able to take advantage of a mistake in the neutral zone, which led to that first goal. Um, very even, shots on goal, 10-9. to 9. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for good things here for the uh, second period. What's the mood on the bench right now? Are, do, do, are you guys nervous at all? Or what are you seeing from Wakona that could be exploited in the second period? We knew that they were going to bring a physical brand of hockey, Chris, which they certainly have. Uh, Mood is very upbeat on the bench. Uh, the conditioning that the fellas have been through all season long, uh, it's, it's uh, really the hallmark of what they've done all season. The Barnes line got a lot of time on that ice, it seemed like, Todd. It, it, much more so than we saw, I think, in that first uh, the semifinal game against South Hadley. They really are have become an organic part of this offense. Yeah, they're really the funnest line out here because as you're facing off against them and you look to the other side, everybody on the other side is looking down at them. I mean, they're a tiny, tiny line, but they control the puck. They control the play. They'll go into the corner. They'll make the hits. Lenoy's had a couple solid hits in the corner over here, and Barnes had some scoring opportunities, and we know Bruzak usually is the one to put in the, put in the back of the net, so uh, we may hear his name later, how that line's playing tonight. In terms of, of defending this top line of Wakona, Lure, what, what is Coach... Uh, the coach think the coaching staff thinking about in terms of controlling those three guys that have been playing together since they were six. Well, it's a, it's obviously a challenge. You know, you don't get to this point of the season. Uh, springtime is here. Baseball's around the corner. Ah. Saw a robin in my yard today. But the thing that makes this so urgent for the Green Wave is not allowing the uh, Warriors to take the zone. You know, stand them up in the neutral zone before the play gets in. Uh, really, some man-on-man uh, -man coverage is uh, is really what we're looking for. And they really have, it seems like Wakona has explosive speed coming out of the neutral zone. And that, I think, I mean, when, when LaPierre scored that goal, it almost looked a little bit too easy going around the defenseman. Well, I have to agree with you. It was, uh, they're, they're a deceptive team. They're a very big team, uh, as we saw in the game against Amherst last Saturday. Uh, but the, uh, the thought is that they're going to tie it. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but they they had a good first period. You can't take that away from them. And you meant conditioning is so very, very important. You mentioned that. And, and Greenfield and, and Greenfield's depth, I think, is going to play a role down the stretch here because if they've only got one line that's really effective and you can skate two or three lines out there, that's going to be a huge advantage for Greenfield. Yeah, and uh, Coach was just very clear that in the second period, he's going to get the three-line rotation back in. Uh, throughout the season, his mantra has been, nobody is going to outwork this hockey team. So hopefully the conditioning comes in and we're going to see better things. Lou Bordeaux, I'll let you get back. Thank you very much. The skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, will talk to you between the second and third periods as well Thank here you. at the Olympia in West Springfield. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll come back and talk more about this one. In between periods one and two, it's Wakona 1, Greenfield nothing on the MIAA. Division 3A Western Mass Hockey Championship on Bear Country, 95.3 bucks by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Back at the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield, Chris Collins and Todd Hauer, studio producer is Dave Reno. And we want to thank, of course, all of our sponsors. We also want to mention that the Frontier Community Access Television is here. We'll be able to watch this game at the FCAT Media page on YouTube.com in a couple of days. We're between periods. The Lacona Warriors lead the Greenfield Greenway by a count of one to nothing. As we mentioned, shot's pretty even at 10-9, and I've been impressed with the play of Jake Risley, the goaltender for Wakona, as good as advertised. No, oh, he's played well, and uh, hopefully that knockdown that he took doesn't uh, impact his play. 
Uh, but another part with Greenfield is, is you look at their top three scorers of uh, Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Barnes. They've now been held scoreless uh, for four periods in, high, in uh, playoff action. And I think they just want to be able to kind of break that seal and get it going. And that might just uh, rev this team up again going offensively. And we've seen all season where one period turns off, another period starts, and it's a whole new game. And I'm sure Greenfield wants to come out on fire. And I think they have they have a, a good plan. You know, let's keep going with our depth. We know they're playing two lines. Let's just try and get to the third period and uh, be within striking distance or ahead and, and take home the title. And I think that it, it looks like, in terms of face-offs, it's been pretty even. I think Greenfield's won some face-offs. McCona's also won some draws, particularly in the Greenfield under the building. I think Greenfield wants to win as many of those face-offs as possible to negate the opportunities that McCona's going to have for shots from the point, tip-ins, deflections. That's really where you get into dangerous territory for Riley Drew. A couple of those shots, he didn't, I'm sure he didn't see. They were through screens. Yeah, there's a, the, you could tell what Cohen is playing is kind of get between the puck and the goaltender. And that's really what Greenfield's trying to do, too, tonight. We've also haven't seen many shots on the point from Greenfield. I think Bryant's wound it up just once, and it didn't get through. And uh, on this side, there was another one where the defenseman actually played goaltender and didn't get through to the goal to the uh, goaltender either. Kevin Bauman, I think that the, 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 the line, ironically, that, that provided the most scoring opportunities, I think, was the Barnes line. Very aggressive forechecking, and there were, you know, there was one point where Pruzak had an open net. The puck just skipped over a stick. Tough break, but you know, you get the feeling that one or two bounces, and Greenfield's going to get an opportunity to put the puck in the net here at some point. Yeah, absolutely. They're doing everything they have to do. They're doing everything they plan to do. I think if they said uh, part of the game, if they can get 30 shots on net in this game, they can probably walk away with the title. Well, they're exactly a third of the way there after one. We'll take another 90-second break and come back with second period action at the break. It's Wakona one, Greenfield nothing. This is the MIAA Division 3A Western Mass Championship on Bear Country 95.3, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Getting ready for the start of period two from the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield. The winner of this game gets Lunenburg Saturday at Holy Cross for the Division 3A State Championship. Greenfield's got some work to do here. They're down 1 0 as we get ready to start this next 15 minutes. The Savoy line is out there with Roach and O'Sullivan. And McGoldrick and Kevin Bauman on defense moving right to left out of the green wave. And we are underway in the second period. Face-off controlled by Greenfield. O'Sullivan backhands ahead to Roach. Roach now trying to beat his defenseman. Broken up, though. O'Sullivan pass shot to save as it got loose as O'Sullivan found Savoy right on the doorstep. And, oh, boy, was that close. That was a defensive breakdown by Wakona. I didn't even see Savoy sneak back there. But again, when you got a goaltender like they do, they got away with it. But that was a great opportunity in the first 10 seconds. No one between him and the goaltender. Face off to the left of Grizzly. Draw goes to the boards. Skipped out by Wakona. McColder tries to knock it back in. Now Alfonso battling for it. Shot down behind the Wakona net. O'Sullivan on the fourth check. Poked away. Bauman bumping at the blue line. McColdrick is able to pinch and keep it in. Actually deflected out of the rink. The face off will be outside the Wakona zone. Yeah, it looks like both teams are going to start hitting. The body's already throwing. Uh, there was a good hit right at the blue line. Uh, Bauman had a choice, go for the puck, go for the body. He went for the body. Probably the right play, because if you go for the puck and miss, then he's all alone. Um, and then Greenfield just happened to chip it in just a little too high and hit the netting. Bauman, Knight, and Clancy, the line out there for the wave. Harris and Bryant on defense. And they're going to redo the faceoff. They're going to wave the Wakona player out of there. Alfonso now will take it against Bauman. They soft control by Wakona. Back to Lampron. Now slammed around by the Warriors in their own end. Alfonso trying to clear. Blocked, though, on the boards. Puck caroms back around to the left side. Krobeth is able to get it out of the zone. And Frontier Greenfield will keep it. Now Bauman, high slot. Bauman shot over the net as he got some daylight. Clancy now following. Going to slide in front. Now out of the corner, Bauman shot to save. Clancy behind the net after it. Knight now back to the point looking for Bryant. And Wakona is able to clear. So a couple of bids there for Greenfield. And here they go again, three on two. Bauman now to the center of the ice to Clancy. Clancy shot to save by Risley. Bauman was bearing in, got run off the play by Krobeth. And they'll face it off to the left of Risley. So Greenfield really making things happen in the Wakona end of the ice. Yeah, it looks like they're taking advantage of the opportunity. The puck uh, just a little too far for Wakona went to the Greenfield D. They poked it ahead, had a three-on-two rush. The shot was soft, but if you notice that the Wakona defense made sure nobody got close to their goalie on that rebound. Barnes line is out there, draw one by the Warriors, and flipped out of the zone. 
Sent right back in by Greenfield. Now Bozanski with it. And Bozanski flips it up ahead looking for Peplowski. Broken up at the blue line by Greenfield. And the wave will start in their own end. Backhanded up the left wing boards. Broken up Barnes is by the Wakona player. And Mike McGoldrick now will go back behind his own net. And now McGoldrick dumps the Wakona player behind. No call. Wakona fans want a penalty on that one. Oh! Greenfield now with it. Barnes took a hit. Gets it into Wakona territory. Puck in the corner. Barnes now coming behind the net. Behind the Wakona net. Barnes trying to turn around shot. Blocked in front. And it's skated out by Liam Anderson of the Warriors. Anderson pushes it into Greenfield territory. He'll bump in the corner with Kevin Bauman. The boards it goes. Pruzak now after it with Poplowski. Back to the point. Wrist shot from the point. Saved by Drew. Rebound goes wide. And a second shot. Drew deflects it wide. Massaro now from the corner. A shot and a save by Drew. And Greenfield trying to clear, but they can't. Steal a shot and a save. Drew gloves it down as Poplowski had another shot. As Wakona, two or three good bids there, Todd. Yeah, Wakona played well there. Drew. I mean, Greenfield just couldn't get it out. It's just a rough flip. You don't flip it out of your zone through the center ice. Because if you don't get it high enough, someone's going to catch it. They're going to call these scoring opportunity that Drew kept them alive on. But I am finding that um, it looks like Greenfield's trying to match up this LaPierre line with their defensive front. I expected to see Brian out there, but uh, he's not on this shift, and LaPierre's on the ice. Power line is out there for Greenfield. That's Brian Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach. Draw goes into the corner. Pollen now with it for Greenfield. Slams it around the left wing boards. Up but not out. Shot from the point. Blocked and cleared by Greenfield. Skip pass ahead to Roach. Two on one. Roach shot. Glove saved by Risley. Fat rebound. Draw flicked into the boards. Back at the point. Savoy now. They got Savoy out there on a point. And now Bauman is after it. Bauman now. That's Kevin up ahead. Savoy knocks it loose. And stolen at center ice by Alfonso. Alfonso. The fling pass shot saved by Drew. Rebound goes to the far boards. Picked up and that out. Shot from the point by Lamprong goes wide. And Greenfield clears. O'Sullivan now with it. Skates it through center ice at the red line. O'Sullivan broken up on a nice play by Lamprong. Or actually LaPiero came back and got it. And headband pass looking to set up. Alfonso is going to be icing. They'll bring it down and face it off next to Risley with 11.37 to go in period two. It's kind of interesting. I'm keeping an eye. We're right behind the uh, Greenfield bench, and I'm seeing if they're watching to uh, see who Wakona's throwing on the ice, and I haven't seen much of that, so I thought they might be more matching the lines, but they may have already knew what was coming next because of uh, the LaPierre line being out there before. Risley, Clancy, and Baum in the line for Greenfield. Harris and Bryant on defense. Off the draw. Bauman was back to Bryant. Bryant. Slap shot wide all the way around to Harris. Harris pinches and keeps it in, knocks it back down behind the Wakona net. Bozanski up the left side. Now Bryant, a shot from the point, saved by Risley. Saw it all the way. And the rebound. Collected up and out of the zone by the Warriors. Now Clancy battling for it at the Wakona blue line. And it's knocked back in. Knight now going in after it. Knight bumping behind the net with the Wakona defenseman. That's Bozanski who backhands it around. Bryant pinches, trying to keep it in. Barnes now back out there, backhands it down low. Clancy after it, centering pass, looking for Brian Bauman, went through his skates. Now here's a steal. Barnes on the left side. Barnes tries in front shot, blocked, and the net dislodged. As, oh boy, that was right on the doorstep, but the net dislodged. Tough break for Greenfield. Yeah, Barnes made a great play. He saw uh, the other winger just camping out on the other post. Made a good pass across and really just didn't get all the wood on it. And it kind of flooded up. But we're, we're five minutes, just under five minutes in this, into this period. And Greenfield is uh, out shooting with Wakona 4-1. to And a lot of the play has been in the Wakona defensive zone. The Barnes line is out there with McGoldrick and Cam Rice on defense. The, the faceoff goes right to Risley, who covers it up. And they'll do it all over again. That was a nice play by the Wakona defenseman because the winger was going in to get the puck and he just kept his body strong between uh, the Greenfield player and the goaltender. The goaltender made an easy cover up to get a whistle. Again, Wakona up 1-0 in this one. Face-off control by the Warriors. 
And they'll skip it out of the zone. Skip pass to Alfonso, two on two. Alfonso to LaPierre. LaPierre beats his man. Now back to the point, shot just wide as the trailing defenseman cranked it over the net. And Greenfield unable to clear. LaPierre battling for it down low. McColdrick over there bumping with him. Now McColdrick behind his own net. It was up the right wing boards and skipped out by Puzak into Wakona territory. All the way down to Risley who will trap it and hang on with Lenoy bearing down. Lenoy gets dumped by Ernie Lampron behind the play. And that uh, brings Puzak over to have some pleasantries. Yeah, I, you can't put much on the Wakona player Lampron. He was just so much bigger than Lenoy's. I think he just leaned a little too much and Lenoy's went down and and honestly, based on the uh, way they've been calling the game, there was no way they're going to call a penalty on that play. Jake Croto is out there for Greenfield, centering O'Sullivan and Roach. Bauman and MJ Pollen on defense. Back to Pollen at the point. Pollen, wrist shot blocked. Puck force to the boards and skipped out by Wakona. Kevin Bauman back to get it with LaPierre after him. Now O'Sullivan at his own blue line winds it up, backhands it up, but not out. Kept in by Wakona. Now at the point, this is Cullet. Shot, save, blocked in front. Rebound loose. Skipped up, but not out. Finally, it clears the zone. Now Roach on a forecheck. Roach up the right wing. Roach in front to O'Sullivan. Shot, saved by Risley. The save of the night as he robbed O'Sullivan. Wow, that was a phenomenal save. Great play by Greenfield. Slid it right over, had the shot in, but Rizzi was ready. I mean, he hit it right in the blocker. Unfortunately, on the play for Greenfield, the defenseman who was uh, coming back to make the play, he went down, his helmet came off. So the whistle blows right then and there, kind of takes the momentum away. And it looks like, I believe the faceoff should be on the inside because it was uh, blown dead for the Wakona player without a helmet. That was a great setup by Roach to O'Sullivan, and just absolutely robbed by Jake Risley. Face off to the left of Risley, 9.36 to go in period two, one nothing Greenfield, but just by inches. Back to the point, wrist shot blocked wide by Bryant. Now Bauman with it, Bauman comes out of the corner trying to set up Roach, poked away by Wakona. Harris now back at the red line. Pushes up ahead now to Bauman again. Bauman high slot shot, glove saved by Risley and he covers it up. As right now Risley is the player of the game for Wakona. Now some bumping in the corner as the Wakona Warriors did not like the way one of the Greenfield players went after that rebound. Yeah, I think O'Sullivan got a little, uh, when he went for the rebound, let's put it this way, he hit the goalie's glove, and Wakona took objection to it, and I can't blame him. And, uh, but again, I think the referees had an opportunity there to possibly just put the two in the box, go four on four. Instead, they're gonna penalize Greenfield another way and take his face off and move it outside the zone. Power line is out there for Greenfield. Bauman and Roach and O'Sullivan. Now Bryant in front of the penalty bench knocks into Wakona territory but skipped right back out by the Warriors. Now Pulaski with a headman pass for Wakona on the right wing side. Swings the net. Falls down, back to the point, and it's tipped out. Two on here's, one. Here's a break. Bauman and O'Sullivan, two on one break. O'Sullivan, short side, Bauman shot. Saved by Risley again! Oh, how did that not go in? Hats off to Risley. He's keeping Wakona up one nothing. Puck now behind the Wakona net. Trey Massaro slams it around the boards. Well, Roach now with it in the high slot. Roach back to the point to Harris, who backhands it on the boards. Harris is able to keep it in, though. Nice play by Bowie. Penalty coming up. It's going to be on Wakona as Harris got tripped after he made a good play to keep the puck in. Roach now with it. Back to the point, Barnes now. And now the whistle blows, first penalty of the game. And it's gonna be on Wakona. Bazanski's gonna go for roughing. Great play by Bowie Harris. He leaped up in the air, grabbed the puck. And when he made his move, he just out him and he stuck his leg out and tripped him up. And uh, legitimate, legitimate penalty. We knew that the first one would be legitimate. And now Greenfield has an opportunity to go into power play for two minutes. Eh, period, there's 8 17 left, so just almost at the halfway point. Greenfield fans letting Bazanski hear it as he's in the box for two minutes. And at the power play will begin to the left of, or the right rather, of Jake Risley, who has made two unbelievable saves. Oh, he's, 
He's the star of the game right now. Uh, I'd say three times I thought the puck was going in the net and he stopped the blind. Barnes line is out there. McGoldrick with it now. Dumps it back into Wakona territory. Malone and a forecheck. Kruzak now behind the net. Power play for Greenfield. To Barnes on the right wing boards. Barnes circles over the top of the slot. Barnes sleeping around. Barnes, short side shot saved by Risley. Barnes goes after the rebound, tries to slide it in front, puck on the doorstep, and Risley covers as Lenoir was camped. Oh boy, that was close. Yeah, Greenfield was looking to actually get it back to the point, but every time they looked, Wakona was reacting. They were able to go right to the net, and they, they had three good scoring opportunities on this power play already, and now they're going to switch it up, bring up the power line. Bauman, O'Sullivan, Roach, Harris, and Bryant, the five out there. Power play, 137 to go on the man advantage for Greenfield. And Draw is skipped out of the zone by Wakona. Just went over Bowie Harris' stick. Harris back to get it in zone in. Bowie now behind the Greenfield net. Going to leave it for Bauman. Here comes Brian Bauman streaking through the center part of the ice. Bauman in the high slot. Pulls it back. Back to the point. To Harris. Back to Bauman. Bauman. Down low to Roach. Trying to set up Bauman in front. Harris when the point. Shot deflected wide. Roach behind the net with it. Roach swings it out, turnaround shot, wide of the net, and it comes all the way back around and out of the zone. Bryant going after it, being pursued by LaPierre. LaPierre was able to get a shot on Robbie Drew, and a whistle, and Drew didn't really glove. He was trying to keep the puck in play, Todd, but they blew it dead. He was. Drew was making a good play on that because the Wakona forward had gone behind the net and was coasting. So he would have had a five on three, but I think the referee thought he was going to hold it a little longer. Really quick whistle there. Too bad for Greenfield. Now they got to go with a uh, face off in their defensive zone on this power play. 52 seconds to go on the man advantage. Face off controlled by Greenfield. And Bryant now has it back in his own end. Goes up to Bauman at the blue line. Bauman over to Roach. Roach on the right wing side. Roach into Wakona territory. Roach shoots it behind the net. Bauman follows over the right side. Now Sullivan after it. Backhanded back down low. And now Bryant centering passing over Roach. O'Sullivan at the, at the point. Kind of misfired on the shot. Roach now on the near boards. Shoots it on net. Risley covers. And again O'Sullivan goes in on Risley. And again he gets into it with Alfonso. Yeah, their goalie's been toppled over. And the way he's playing, they don't want him touched. I don't blame him. He's playing great. He's keeping this game one to nothing. He may be a difference maker in this whole game. But Greenfield's pouring it on. They've outshot him now 6-1 to one in this period, and they still have 21 seconds left on the power play. Face off to the left of Risley. The Barnes line comes out, along with Kevin Bauman and McColdrick on defense. Barnes line has played well tonight. Yeah, I think this is a good call to get him out there for the last 20 seconds of this power play. Barnes on the draw. One by Wakona. And the Warriors were able to clear it out. All the way down to the Greenfield end. Riley Drew back to get it. 6.31 to go in the period. 12 seconds to go on the man advantage for Greenfield. Barnes now through the middle of the ice. Barnes into Wakona territory. Goes into the corner. Kruzak now with it. Kruzak battling along with Lenoy. Penalty is over. We're all even at five apiece. Now Lenoy hooked down behind the net. McCulbert now. And the left point slams it back down around to Barnes on the far boards. Barnes trying to cycle away from Macero. Barnes kicking it behind the net. Barnes comes away with it. Barnes slides it in front, looking for Pruzak, but it was deflected away by Wakona, and the Warriors skate it up. Heplowski now into Greenfield territory, pushes it into the corner. Kevin Bauman after it. Kevin comes away with it, and Kevin Bauman skates it up the right side. Bauman takes a hit by Macero. Bauman staying with it, and Wakona is unable to able to clear, but up and that out. Now they finally get it out of the zone. Headman pass. Warriors. Shot goes wide of the net. Clancy now forces it to the far boards, and it's rifled out by Bauman, and this is going to be icing. They'll bring it down and face it off to the right of Drew with 5.18 to go, and still a 1-0 Wakona lead. Greenfield has done everything right, everything they need to do this period, except put the puck behind the, the goal turn to get in the net. They've outplayed them. They're up 6-1. to one. They took advantage of power play. They probably got three solid shots on that power play. They were scoring up to his left and right. The goaltender for Wakona standing on his head. Risley is uh, showcasing this tournament right now. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. Wakona's won a lot of face-offs in this game tonight. Now Drew gets waved out. 
And it's going to be Porter Clancy. Oh, sorry, Sammy Knight that will take the draw. One by Wakona. Back to the point. Shot in. Save. Covered by Drew. A lot of bumping in front of the net. Referee falls down. Caught an edge. Fans love that. Faceoff will be to the right of Drew again. And that was a dangerous play for Wakona. That was that shot from the point was, was very weak. Almost bounced in. But it gave Wakona the opportunity to kind of shove it in the net. And Drew made a good job covering it up. That's only Wakona's second shot on net this period. Faceoff goes back to the point. Bozanski shot saved by Drew. Rebound controlled by Greenfield. Knight clears it out looking for Clancy. All the way back down to the Wakona blue line. Now here's a steal. Bauman into Wakona territory. Takes a big hit. Cullet now after it. Back to the point. Bryant shot deflected wide. Harris is able to pinch and keep it in. And puck in the corner for Greenfield. Out in front now. Clancy shot blocked. And it goes wide by the net and cleared out by Wakona to center ice. Now Bryant in front of the penalty bench. Knocks it up the boards. And the Warriors will restart from their own end. Headman pass intercepted by Bauman at center ice. Backhanded into Wakona territory. And the Warriors swinging around their own net. 4.19 to go in period two. LaPierre now will wind it up out of his own end. LaPierre looking to head man to Alfonso. Goes down to the greenfield end. Bowie Harris swings his own net as Wakona gets a quick line change. Now this is O'Sullivan into Wakona territory at the left wing side. Wakona centering pass. O'Sullivan and Roach gets dumped in front of the net. Big hit and cleared out, skated out now by Wakona. Headband pass, and Pulaski broken up. Now a steal at center ice. Aiden Roach, wrist shot, saved by Risley. Saw it all the way. And they'll face it off to his left with 3.42 to go in period two. Yeah, this Wakona crowd is loving Risley right now. That was a nice glove save. He went down early, but you know, got it up. He was going for the upper, uh, upper corner. But Greenfield, like I said, they're doing everything they want to do except put the puck in the net. And they got 3.42 to do it, but they're out playing them. They're just going to keep this momentum going. Draw goes to the boards. Barnes line is out there. Back to the point. Rice is shot. Now Barnes behind the net. Barnes trying to swipe it in front. Shot. Save. And Risley covers again as Prusak was camped. Another great save. That was a great play by Barnes behind the net. He faked like he was going to go straight to the net. Got the goalie off balance. Went around the net. Threw it in front. Another solid shot. Risley was down. Down on his knees. Sitting up. And they just happened to shoot it right in between his legs. He closed him up. And another great save by Risley. That Barnes line has been the best line of the night for Greenfield right now in terms of scoring opportunities. At that time, Prusak was just right where he needed to be. Great little hook pass by Barnes. Power line is out there for Greenfield. The draw goes back to the point. Kevin Bauman knocks it down behind the net. Brian Bauman on a four check. And Wakona is able to skip it out of the zone. Puck goes cross ice now. McGoldrick after it. McGoldrick skates it in. McGoldrick with the dot. Shot saved by Risley. Kind of caught him by surprise. And McGoldrick follows the rebound behind the net. And Wakona is able to clear the zone. Now Bauman back after it in his own blue line. Backhands it cross ice to Roach. Roach. Roach on the left side. Roach into Wakona territory. Slides it in back. Backhand pass to O'Sullivan. Goes behind the net. Now Bauman. That's Brian to Roach. Roach trying to slide it in front. Ooh. It's the side of the net. And Wakona has to ice it. And they'll bring it down and face it off with 2.42 to go again. Another anxious moment there for the Wakona Warriors. Yeah, it's funny. We talked between periods. We didn't see a lot of back checking or, or really a lot of opportunities for back checking. That's not the case this period. Greenfield is playing on all facets of the ice. They're getting back. They're taking that puck and they're turning it right around for some offensive chances. But Grizzly stands there. Short shifts, too. I mean, Greenfield's not out there for a long period of time. The Barnes line right back out there with Prusak, Lenoy Barnes, Harris, and Bryant, the defensive combination. And the draw goes to the boards. Barnes back to the point to Bryant. Bryant, wrist shot, saved by Risley. Rebound control wide. And Poplowski trying to clear it up the boards. Can't though, kept in. Bryant now knocks it back down low to Barnes. Barnes behind the net. Barnes has his stick chopped out. No call. 
Now Pruzak goes over to help out. Lenoy over on the left wing boards now after it. Lenoy, Pruzak, and Barnes trying to knock it loose. Now Lenoy comes away with it behind the net or the, out of the corner. Lenoy now trying to slide in front, blocked. Lenoy still with it. A lot of jousting going on in that corner. Barnes over to help out. Big scrum on the near boards. Back to Harris. Harris' shot goes wide. Puck comes around the net. Up the boards, but not out. Kept in by Bryant. Bryant's shot goes all the way to the far side. And Brian Bauman just on behind the net. Brian Bauman now swings behind. Bauman now tries to slide in front. Tip saved by Risley. As right on the doorstep again was Barnes, and Risley comes up big again. Great play by Greenfield. They're controlling the play. We have looked to our left in the offensive zone of Greenfield all period long. They just, again, haven't been able to get it in, but the opportunities are there. They're going to break the seal, and hopefully when they break it, it pours. 1.38 to go in the period. Power line is out there for Greenfield with Bauman and McColdrick on D. One face-off one by Greenfield. McColdrick now knocks it down behind the Wakona net. Roach back there, O'Sullivan after it. Greenfield circling and sharking. It's only a matter of time before they put one in. Roach now slides on the short side, deflected by Risley back into the corner. Back to the point. Actually, no, it's uh, trapped in the boards. Roach now with it. Roach shot out of the corner. Save. Rebound loose. Puck is still loose. Kept in, though. McColdrick, slap shot. Wide of the net. Bauman now comes around with it. 106 to go. Bauman shot just misses. Back to the point. That's Kevin. Bauman down low to Roach. Roach has a slide in front. Nobody there. And finally cleared out by Wakona, which the Warriors just barely hanging on right now. Yeah, I don't believe it's the... Uh the uh, energy of Greenfield that's really wearing them down yet. We talked about that being a possibility in the third period. I just think they're out playing them right now and they've got some great opportunities and they're cycling and that, that's their game. If they can cycle in the offensive zone, um, that gives them the scoring opportunities. Bauman on the draw for Greenfield, centering Roach and O'Sullivan. One by Greenfield. Bryant shot blocked to the near boards. Bryant now, they're Bauman now behind the net. It's cleared around, up, but not out. And they finally do skip it out of the zone. This is Alfonso with it. Alfonso goes left side to LaPierre, broken up by Bryant. Bryant, LaPierre jousting. Bryant backhands it up. He's got a man. Headman pass. O'Sullivan, partial break. O'Sullivan, oh, he got poked checked nicely as he had Bauman streaking down the slide. Couldn't get it to him, though. Now Alfonso, a wrist shot blocked. Bryant now. There's it up, but not out. As it's clear down behind Drew, Roach now swings the net, slams it up the boards, and Greenfield's able to clear. Last 10 seconds of the period, and Lampron's going to hold it back, and he is not going to go anywhere, and they're going to let this period run out as Wakona will escape with a goose egg on the board, but not for lack of effort by the Greenfield Green Wave. At the end of two periods, Wakona still leads Greenfield 1-0. This is the Western Mass MIAA 3A. Division Championship, Western Mass Championship on Bear Country, 95.3. Back in a minute. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second intermission here from the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield. The Greenfield Green Wave still trails the Wakona Warriors 1-0. Not for lack of trying. Greenfield out shooting Wakona 23-12 in this game. And uh, we're, we're now joined at the mic by the skate doctor. 
Lou Bordeaux. So, Lou, <laughs> I got I to gotta believe Wakona is pretty happy that he get out of that period unscathed. Oh, you better believe it, Chris. The, the momentum totally changed in that period. Green Wave, I believe, outshot them 13-3, to if my math serves me correctly. Uh, just a, a heck of an effort by the fellas. Just couldn't finish. Goalie Jake Grizzly standing on his head, as he usually does for the Warriors. But one would have to think after they've watched this game for a while that it's just a matter of time. So hopefully it's going to happen in the third period. What's it going to take, Todd, how to put the puck behind Grizzly? He's been unbelievable tonight. I don't know. He's been... Lump, he's, he's really lounging forward, so it's really cutting down the angle. You've seen a lot of his saves where he knows they're going to be taking the shot. And maybe it's that extra pass right in front of the net. Who knows? And it might be just a, a funny bounce that sneaks by him. But he's played fantastic. I mean, he's given up one goal in the playoffs so far, and he's played eight periods. Ironically enough, the Barnes line, which is the smallest in stature in terms of size, has been the line that really seems Lou to be, to be sparking Greenfield right now. Uh, a lot of effort on... The green line, we call them. The green line. The, as, we, as we said in the last intermission, not a lot of size, all heart on that line. And they're not afraid to get in the corners and get greasy either. I think that defensively, Greenfield's back checking was much better in that period as well. Much better, absolutely. I, I think a lot of the issue in the first period was maybe some nerves going into a championship game. They seem to settle in and feel a little more at home that period. It seemed like the power line got some, some more time out there, Todd, and they were effective when they were out there, but I still think maybe the Barnes lines, I don't know if you want to double shift that line or not, they really seem to be making things happen. Well, I think part of it, too, is uh, Greenfield having that last change uh, have been able to put their power line against the LaPierre line. So they're playing against the best players of Wakona, and that's part of it. You know, you throw out the 2-3-8 line or the green line, and, and they'll be playing... Like I told you before, I'll look it down. They're really looking down. Those, that's their biggest line and their most powerful line. And also some good defensive play. Bowie Harris made a nice play to keep the puck in and draw that penalty. That and unfortunately didn't result in any goals. But again, I think that the Greenfield backliners really played much better in that second period. Well, you're absolutely right about Bowie. He uh, is one of our graduating senior student athletes. He has, over the course of his time in this program, really established himself as a top pair defenseman. Uh, that, that particular play, Chris, didn't, didn't surprise anybody on the bench. Bowie Harris is uh, he's going to be sorely missed upon graduation. But they've got to find a way to, right now, solve Risley. He's been the problem. And uh, i, I got to believe that, like, like Howie said, if, if, if they get one, then the floodgates are going to open. And that's what you're looking for. Totally agree with that. We've, uh, we've seen it before. A uh, game earlier in the season, we played at the Pittsfield Boys Club, and we scored three goals off of Risley in that one. Uh, he's uh, a lot of bravado there, and as uh, as Howie just said, one goal in eight periods of playoff hockey. He's got a little bit of swagger there, and he's uh, it's well deserved. The skate doctor is Lou Bordeaux. We appreciate you making the time. I'll let you get back to the uh, the bench. I know that uh, this is going to be a big third period coming up. We look forward to uh, most definitely. I'm sure you guys are going to do it justice. Thanks, buddy. All right, thank you, Lou Bordeaux, the skate doctor, and also part of the Greenfield coaching staff, providing us with some uh, perspective. Uh, what the wave is thinking here as we go into what's going to be a third period that Greenfield's got to find a way to get the puck past Wizzy, and once they do, I think that they're in good shape. Well, yeah, go like I said, they, the, the big thing is is we tried to score on them straight up. We made passes close to the net. Let's maybe look for that extra pass, maybe get to the point and really crash the net. And usually what we see from Greenfield is that low shot from the point and then grabbing a the rebound, and we haven't seen a lot of that. I think Wakona might be doing a better job covering their point then and maybe doing a better job of getting between the point and the goal once they get the puck. And I haven't kept stats, but I'm pretty sure that Wakona won the majority of the faceoffs again in that period. That's really, really important. It, and, it, you know, if you talk about getting the point, the puck back to Brian on the point with the big shot, also MJ Pollock and Whitefoot, you're not going to get that if you don't win some faceoffs. And they haven't. Yeah, it makes it's a big advantage because then you control the puck right from the get go, right from the drop of the puck, and it's just put them on their edge, put them on their heels. But really, they only gave up three shots that period, and I believe one of them was really soft. So you're talking two quality shots on net, and uh, Drew was up to the task. But unfortunately, Risley is standing on his head, and he's showcasing um, his abilities. And, and I'm really impressed. Like I said, he's diving out there, and I think what they got to hope is that he lunges forward to cut down the angle. Griefel makes that extra pass, slips it in. We'll take one more break. We'll come back and bring in the third period. Wakona leads Greenfield 1-0. This is the MIAA Division 3A Western Mass Hockey Championship on Bear Country 95.3, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. 
15 minutes are left in this hockey game, which will decide the Western Mass Division 3A hockey champion, Wakota Warriors. One better than Greenfield in the goal by Ryan Lafayette in the first period, but Greenfield clearly the better team in that second period and very much out shooting uh, the Wakona Warriors. I think the count was 13 to three um, unofficially, but they're, right now they, they're out shooting Wakona 23 to 12. And like we said, it's just a matter of time before they put the puck in the net. Yeah, that, I can guarantee you when the coaching staff went in the locker room, they looked at the players and they said, what you guys just did out there, do that again. And we're gonna walk out of here with a championship. We're gonna break through him. We've had the opportunities. And what I'd like to see is when they, they get that passing up close, you know, maybe keep the uh, puck on the ice. Uh, I said before, the Rizzi likes to lounge out, make himself big, and maybe the opportunity is going to be just right on the ice, slide underneath them. The LaPierre line is going to start off here for Wakona. Greenfield moved left to right. Winner of this game gets Lunenburg Saturday at Holy Cross for the state Division 3A Hockey Championship. We would love to be able to bring you that game if this happens. I've got plans to drive down there, so let's get this done. Jake Croto will center O'Sullivan and Roach, and it'll be Bauman and Mike McGoldrick, the defensive pair for Greenfield. And we are underway in period number three. Faceoff goes into the Wakona end, and cross ice pass Krobut now. Headman pass dumped into Greenfield territory behind Riley Drew. Bauman goes up the boards to Roach. Who Chips it out, and Croto will skate it up. Dump it into Wakona territory. Croto on a four check behind the net, bumping with Krobe. And the Warriors unable to clear. Now they do. Headman pass to LaPierre on the left side. Broken up by Kevin Bauman. Pushes it up ahead to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan now at the dot. O'Sullivan shot, save Risley. Rebound goes into the corner. O'Sullivan battles for it. Roach now out there. Roach slides it in front. Blocked. Centering pass again. Blocked out. Blocked wide. Bryant now able to keep it in. Now a drop pass by O'Sullivan. Now a steal. Bauman shot just wide as Risley got a piece of it as Bauman took a turnover and almost converted. Great play by Bauman. He just happened to be in the right place when it went between the two defensemen. They just weren't ready for it. Bad play on their part. And just wide on Bauman. I'm not sure if it was going to go in, whether Risley touched it or not. Harris now trying to push it up the boards, kept in. Bryant now gets the errant pass and skips it out down to the Wakona end of the, the ice. Risley will hold on and will cover it, and they'll face it off to his left with 13.36 to go in regulation. Yeah, good play there by Bryant. Just get it down on net. Let's get a uh, shift change, get a new line out there, bring out the power line it looks like, and uh, Bryant back on the point. We talked about grief on their set plays. Let's see if they can win this face off and use one of those set plays to tie it up. The Bauman line is out there, back to the point. Shot by Bryant, goes wide of the net, into the corner. Clancy on a four check, over there to help out is Brian Bauman. And Massaro is able to push it up and out. Head man pass now for Liam Anderson, one on one with Harris. Anderson shot just wide of the net. Puck comes around onto the far boards and Bryant comes away with it. Bryant, skip pass ahead, looking for Bauman. Bauman's got it, Bauman's moving in, pulls it back, shot, blocked, loose. Puck in the crease, now goes behind the net, oh, almost. Shot from the corner is blocked by Wakona. Harris bumps his man. Bauman's shot, deflected up into the Wakona corner. Now it's to the point, Harris gloves it down. Harris held off, Bryant can't get his shot off and Wakona, living dangerously, is able to clear it out. This is going to be icy, and they'll bring it down and face it off across from Risley. Wow, was that close. That was real close, and Greenfield hasn't changed anything. They came out at the beginning of this third period just like they played the entire second period. They're controlling the play. The puck's in the, their offensive zone. They had some good opportunities from the point. Bryant just couldn't get that uh, one face-off, one on net. Barnes' line is out there with Pollen and Bauman on defense. Warriors are able to clear it out. And they dump it in behind Riley Drew. Kevin Bauman after it. Bumping with LaPierre. Now Pruzak trying to push it up the boards. LaPierre is able to knock it back down low. And back up to the point. Shot just goes wide of the net. That was by Krobeth. Now shot again on Drew. He gloves it down. LaPierre knocks it loose. And 
Drew is able to hang on, and Drew gives them a swat for his trouble. The face off is to his left with 12 12 to go. They yeah, told him, You haven't been down here much, so I'm going to make sure you know where I am. And that was one of those opportunities. They had the 2 3 8 line out there against the top line of Wakona, and they, Wakona was able to keep in the offensive zone. Greenfield's changing up, bringing out the power line now. Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach. Draw goes to the boards. Skipped up but not out as Wakona is able to keep it in temporarily. And it's knocked out. Now all the way down to Wakona's end. This is going to be icing as it just skipped over the Wakona player. And they'll bring it down to the Greenfield end to face it off. Yeah, Greenfield's going to be happy in the first three minutes of this period. They've controlled the play. they got a few shots on net. Drew is actually able to get a puck on him, so he's staying fresh. And again, they're coming down here. And uh, it looks like Wakona's bringing out its top line to face off against Greenfield's top line. Harris and Bryant, the defensive pair behind the power line of Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach. Draw control by Greenfield. Bryant flips it up. Now O'Sullivan after it. Risley is able to shoot it back out of the zone as O'Sullivan was bearing down. And here comes the Warriors. Alfonso dumps it in behind Drew. Bryant after it. Bryant bumps with Alfonso. Backhands it up the boards looking for Roach. Roach tips it out to O'Sullivan who skates it. And the back ended up ahead, broken up though, in front of the Greenfield bench. And Harris now pushes it up ahead to the Wakona blue line. And the Warriors will restart in front of their own bench. LaPierre now up ahead to Alfonso, stolen by Roach. And Aiden will skate it back up. Over to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, left wing forecheck. O'Sullivan, Bauman, and Roach. Up ahead to Bauman. Bauman couldn't quite handle it. And centering pass. Loved by Risley and covered. 11.04 to go in regulation. 1-0 Wakona. I like that play by Bauman. He was in the corner. He possibly had Bryant on the point, but he decided, you know what? We're going to have a tough time getting by this guy. We're going to throw it from an odd angle see what happens. But Risley was up to the task. He was already down on one knee and ready for it. Bauman's going to stay out there as Clancy and Semi Knight come out. So double shifting, Brian back to the point. McGoldrick, a shot from the point, save Risley. Rebound directed to the corner. And the Warriors fling it out to the Greenfield zone. That's what we like to see from Greenfield. Low shot from the point, rebound out front. See if they can get one to put it back in. McGoldrick spins away from the four checker, up ahead. And Clancy backhands it out to center ice, and Wakona will start again in the neutral zone. And Kevin Bauman now loses control. It's knocked in by Wakona. McColdrick behind the Greenfield net. McColdrick goes up the right wing boards to Clancy. Clancy backhands it out of the zone. Shot right back in, though. And McColdrick. Headman pass for Brian Bauman. Bauman up the right wing. Bauman takes a bump into Wakona territory. Bauman in the corner. Hit hard. And the Warriors knock it back out. This is going to be icing. They'll bring it down. They'll face it off. To left of Risley with 10-13 to go in regulation. Yeah, Bauman got pinched right in the boards in the corner, and he came up a little limping on his leg. He's going off the ice now. I don't think uh, anything that we won't see him from, but it looks like the referees made an inadvertent whistle. They're going to actually have to face off at center ice. Okay, I thought it was an ice, but apparently not, so they're going to face it off at center ice. The Barnes line is out there. Harris and Bryant on defense. And off the draw, Lacona controls. And slams it in behind Riley Drew. I think you're going to see Wakona dump the puck a lot in this period to get it out of the zone. Now cross ice pass goes to everybody. Pruzak now has it. And he crosses the blue line and out. Now Lenoy. Nice poke check from behind by Alfonso. Alfonso's shot goes wide to Drew. Rebound comes all the way back around. LaPierre now with it at the point. And Karobeth. Shot just wide as Alfonso was camped. And Alfonso goes into the corner, gets bumped by Bryant. Barnes gets cleaned out by LaPierre, and Greenfield's able to backhand it out. Oh, that was Wakona's best scoring opportunity since the first period, really. Warriors cleared the zone. Bryant now steals. Bryant at the right point. Bryant, high slot, shot saved by Risley. Flashes the left, the right pad. Rebound comes around, Bauman knocks it back down low. And Greenfield. Is unable to control it, and it's cleared out by Wakona. 9.03 to go in regulation. 1 0 Greenfield. Now, Greenfield catches him on a change. O'Sullivan, left wing. O'Sullivan bearing down. Slides it in front. Nobody there. Poked to the boards. 
by Wakona. Good pass, but there was nobody to accept it. Yeah, good play by Wakona. Just to knock it out on the ice. No icing. Reset. Roach down. Avoids it. Four checker. Rice, or, or, uh, Roach, rather, now into Wakona territory. Roach trying to slide it in front for O'Sullivan. Deflected away by Wakona. Shot from the point goes wide. Roach back after it. Cycles it back down low. O'Sullivan bumping in the corner. Centering pass. Bauman couldn't control it. And it's iced by Wakona. And they'll bring it down and face it off with 8.21 to go in regulation. Tough break for Greenfield on that one. Uh, Bowman came off the bench. And right when he was going toward the net, the puck came right to him. But he didn't yell for it. The defenseman got in his way, really. Poked it away from himself. And I think he would have had a good opportunity to fire it right away or bring it a little deeper. The Bauman Clancy night line is out there for Greenfield with Harris and Bryant on defense. The time ticking away for the wave. Back to the point. Bryant, wrist shot just wide. Rebound comes around to Harris. Harris is able to pinch and keep it in. Harris trying to backhand it up but can't. It's deflected out by Lamp Lampron now with it. Lampron looking to feed Polastri, and it's a steal. And here comes Bryant back the other way. Bryant. Long shot blocked by the Wakona defenseman. And headman pass for Poplowski. Poplowski, 2 on one break. Poplowski goes around the defender. Shot and a save by Drew. And he went right around Harris. And Drew made a big save. Yeah, and it looked like he was going for the exact same place where they scored the goal. Same play. Bryant got caught up, up ice because he took an opportunity for an offensive goal. And, but he got back. It was two on one. And the defenseman again got beaten by speed. They tried to go under the armpit. Drew was up to the task. Barnes line is out there for Greenfield with McGoldrick and Kevin Bauman on defense. Draw goes back to the Wakona point. He backhanded in, but Bauman pinches and clears the zone. Pushing it up ahead into Wakona territory. Krobeth back to get it. Backhanded up for Alfonso, who clears the zone. Wakona's just going to knock it out of the zone, take time off the clock, and make it more difficult for Greenfield. Yeah, the clock is becoming a, an issue now. We're halfway through the final period. Barnes now with it on a pass from Lenoy. Barnes into Wakona territory, gets knocked down. Kruzak on a four check. Wakona slams it around. And the Warriors clear the, the zone. Puck in front of the Greenfield bench, backhanded into Greenfield territory. McColdrick now behind his own net. 7.06 in regulation. We're going to go up to Barnes. Broke it up, though, at the blue line. By Wakona, backhander by Lampron goes behind the net. And up ahead to Roach. Roach to O'Sullivan. Ooh. Puck skips over O'Sullivan's stick. And goes to the near ball. And Wakona now, back in their own end with it. Backhanding it behind the net, trying to take as much time off the clock as possible. And they push it up the left wing boards. And they clear the zone to the Warriors. Harris comes over and knocks Anderson off the puck. And Greenfield will skate it out. Roach broken up at the blue, at the red line and dumped right back in by Wakona. As the, the Warriors look like they're playing a bit of a trap here. Trying to trap the neutral zone and keep Greenfield from getting any kind of opportunities. Now Roach in the high slot knocked off the puck by Wakona and they clear the zone. Bauman now with it, a steal at the blue line. Bauman. Wrist shot deflected wide. And rebound comes back out. O'Sullivan cycling. O'Sullivan shot to save by Risley, and he'll hang on to it with 5.52 to go in regulation and a 1 0 Wakona lead. Yeah, Greenfield out shooting him 29 to 14, but that's a moot point at this time of the game. They got 5.52 left. The shots mean nothing. They really got to put one in. They obviously have to put one in. They're down by a goal. But what Wakona is doing now is just kind of dumping it in. One man possibly pressuring, but uh, they're now going to use the clock and just chip it out and keep it out of their zone. Face off to the left of Risley. The draw. McGoldrick tries to get it. It's poked out by Wakona. This is Alfonso. Alfonso trying to split the D. And it's flipped to the boards by Drew. Kept in, though, by the Warriors. Krobeth now behind the net. And Porter Clancy now has it on the right side and flips it out of the Greenfield zone. Looking to set up Sammy Knight. Skips through him. Goes all the way down to Risley. 5.25 to go in regulation. Headman pass. Warriors clear. Shot on Drew. Save. Riley will cover it up. 
as he had Cullen bearing down. They'll face it off to his left with 5.17 to go. Greenfield's just going to keep the pressure on. They haven't had as many scoring opportunities as they had in that second period, but they've had a few. And they've just got to keep the pressure on. They're not going to get a break. I can't see the referees calling penalty. It would have to be an obvious opportunity. But again, here's a good opportunity. Griffin's got the uh, Lenoise line out there against Wakona's top line. And maybe they can burn this shift on them. Pruzak now backhands it into the corner as the Rico wins the draw and they clear it out. Now Pruzak on a left wing four check broken up by a poke check by Wakona. Now two Greenfield players go down. Lenoise and Pruzak uh, ran into each other. And Barnes knocks it loose to Bryant. Bryant into Wakona territory. Bryant into the corner. Bumped. Now they try and knock it down low to Bryant. Now a shot for the point gloved by, by Risley as it looked like a turnover and a little flutter blast by Bryant. And Risley hangs on. Yeah, Risley saw it the whole way. Greenfield was kind of still stuck in the corner. But it was a good shift by them. They used up the top line of Wakona. So now Greenfield can put the power line against Wakona's second line and get that scoring opportunity. Again, key here, let's win the face off. Let's use one of your set plays to get a good scoring shot on. McGlover and Kevin Baum with a defensive pair behind the power line. Draw goes to the wall. And they knock it down behind the Wakona net. Roach now. Backhands it to Bauman at the point. Bauman to Roach. Roach tries to slide it in front. Tipped wide as Bauman, Brian Bauman was camped on the low slot. Puck goes into the corner. O'Sullivan digging for it. Bauman after it. As Wakona content to keep it hemmed in on the boards. And I dump it around the side and back to the point. Roach now. Roach in the circle. Shot saved by Risley. He hangs on. He'll glove it down with 4.10 to go in regulation. Good play by Grifo, keeping it in the zone. And they're going to come out with the Barnes line again. Looks like we're going to cut down the two lines here. You may even see some of the forwards on D just trying to get that extra scoring opportunity. But again, key here, they got Brian on the point. If he can get the puck on this faceoff, get a low shot on net, he has the opportunity in that rebound. Let's tie this thing up. Face off to the right of Risley. Barnes line out there. Now the faceoff. We're going to have to redo it. They're going to wave both guys out. And Lenoy will take the draw for Greenfield. Back to the point. Wrist shot by Bryant goes wide of the net. Barn, or Bowie Harris now keeps it in. Cycles it down low. Greenfield digging in the corner, trying to get it loose. And Wakona content to just hem it in if they can. Take some much needed seconds off this clock. And Barnes backhands it down the boards. And Wakona can't clear though. Barnes now steals it at the red, the blue line. Barnes has slide it in front, tipped and covered by Risley. As Lenoy tried to get a piece of it, they'll face it off with 337 to go in regulation. Great scoring opportunity for Greenfield. They're doing short shifts now. They're changing up to the power line again. But that was another good play. Bryant brought it in, low wrist shot. Barnes in the corner, brought it in front. Lenoy's tipped it, but Risley was up to the task. And again, here we come down to uh, everything's important at this point. 337 left. Face off to the right of Risley. Bauman back to the point to his brother Kevin. Shot blocked in front. And the Warriors are able to clear the zone. He skated out two on two. Lampron broken up by Bauman. Up ahead to Roach. Roach throws Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan one on one in the high slot. Oh! Poked off the play by the Wakona defenseman. Nicely done as he was looking to set up Bauman. Bauman was heading toward the net. Warriors clear the zone. Up ahead to LaPierre. LaPierre up the left wing. Goes into the corner with McGoldrick. Puck goes behind the net. Alfonso now trying to slide in front. Bauman steals it behind his own net. Three minutes even to go in regulation. Bauman trying to skip pass for Roach. Broken up by Wakona. Now turnover in front of Drew. Puck is loose. And Brian Bauman skates it out. Up ahead to Roach. Skip pass. Roach left side. Roach backhands to Bauman. Bauman cycles down low. Centering pass goes through everybody. Bryant's able to keep it in. And they said no. They said it cleared the zone. But it's offsides on Greenfield. They'll face it off with 2.39 to go in regulation. You've got to think at some point about pulling Drew in the next couple of seconds here. Yeah, it might be a little too early at 2.39 left. Greenfield has controlled the play. They've kept the puck in the offensive zone. So I think you might see Drew hang out closer to the minute point where he comes out. 
Face off at the Wakona blue line. Barnes line out there. Harrison Bryan on defense. Face off. Controlled by Wakona. And again, that's been one of the stories tonight. They have really dominated the face offs. Bryant now back in his own end. Looking for a headman pass to Pruzak. Deflects off the stick. Stolen back by Wakona. Puck in front of the Greenfield bench. And Pepulowski now with it. Pepulowski shot deflected by Harris. Went off his leg and just wide. Bryant now comes back around with it. 2.12 to go in regulation. Headman to Pruzak. Into Wakona territory. Set right back up by the Warriors. Now Harris the blue line brings it in. Harris shot saved by Risley. He'll cover it up with 2.01 to go in regulation. A lot of action here. Greenfield doing everything they can. I think you're going to find they're probably going to play this two minutes with their top line. You'll see Greenfield go to a timeout in the first stoppage, I think, uh, you know, say minute 15. And then they'll get ready and they may bring this line back out. I'd like to see them possibly uh, put some offensive guys on the point. And there's the timeout you talked about. We'll take a 30 second break. 2.01 to go in this one. Wakona 1, Greenfield nothing. Timeout on the ice. This is the Western Mass MIAA Division 3A Hockey Championship on Bear Country 95.3, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. 2.01 to go in regulation from the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield. The Wakona Warriors lead the Greenfield Green Wave 1 0. And if Greenfield is able to equalize this and force overtime, some interesting overtime rules, which we'll run down for you. Well, you can try and run, run them down now if you want a little bit, Howie. I mean, it, it, it's interesting the way yeah, they set it up. It really gets fun. They're good. They would play an eight-minute period, and it would be four-on-four. Four. And after that eight-minute period, if they still haven't scored, they would go to a three-on-three three for eight minutes. And if they haven't scored there, then we go to the shootout. Got to score, though, to tie the game and send overtime. Power line is out there. Face off to the right of Risley. Bauman wins the draw. Back to McColdrick. McColdrick. Trying to force it along the wall, but it's cleared out by Wakona. Now he's a steal at center ice. Knocked back in by Greenfield. Wakona, one of the late check calls. Alfonso got cleaned out. Yeah, I think that could have been called, but it's one of those things that don't get called in the last minute and a half. Now Alfonso goes into the corner with Kevin Bauman. Now Brian with it. Brian clears the zone. Bauman up the left wing. Broken up with a poke check. Knocked back down. This is going to be icing. And they'll face it off in the Wakona end with 1.29 to go in regulation. Nice play by Bauman on that. Now we're going to see. We got the power line coming on. We got Brian out on D and Riley Drew making his way to the bench. So with 1.29 left in the game, left in third period, I should say, uh, Greenfield will have a six on five advantage with nobody in between the pipes. So the net is empty, as Howie said. Six on five for Greenfield. Can they get the equalizer and force overtime? Draw controlled by Greenfield. Shot, score! They did it! Bauman set up the Greenfield player. We'll get the number in a second, but it's a goal for Greenfield, and they've tied the game at one. What a play. We've talked about set plays all game. Well, this set play was the noise, I believe it was the noise, it was Barnes, was a go to the post. But when Wakona overskated the puck. He had a free shot, and this is just like last time, where they had a guy in the side with an open net. And again, we talked about this. Keep it on the ice. That was right on the ice, underneath his pads. And now, I'm glad we talked about those overtime rules. We might have to get a little deeper into them, but it's one to one with just 125 left in the third period. Barnes was camped. It's the exact same spot Roach was to get the go-ahead goal against South Hadley. Almost, almost the same time in the game as that semifinal round. Now a timeout for Wakona as they have, Wave has tied the game up with 1.25 to go in regulation. Looking like we could be headed for overtime unless something strange happens here. Yeah, I mean, Greenfield's really controlled the play. Wakona has six shots on net after the first period. They had nine in the first period. They've only had six since. And it's been all Greenfield, and you're just wondering where they're going to break the seal. And I think it's a smart play on Wakona's coaching staff to call this timeout, calm them down, don't let them think, you know, this is the end of the world. We still got a minute 25. Let's get to that overtime and let's see what we can do there. So nice play there. Greenfield's on top of their game, and they just got to keep it going. Wave right now has all the momentum in the world. They have carried the play for the last two periods. They've outshot Wakona 35-15 in this game. That was a set play. Bauman to Barnes. Biggest goal of the year so far with a chance 
if they can light one up here or if they can go to overtime and punch their ticket to the state final on Saturday. It's the Barnes line out there. Actually, Barnes is out there with, no, actually, it's the power line's out there. Bauman, O'Sullivan, Roach, Harris, and Bryant on defense. Face off at center ice. Wakona's knocks it into Greenfield territory. Bryant now with it. Bryant goes cross ice to O'Sullivan and pokes it into Wakona territory. No icing as it was deflected. Puck goes into the corner. Banged up the boards. And cycle back down low. O'Sullivan now behind the net. Centering pass to Bauman who backhanded. Saved by Risley and he hangs on. Oh, that was close. Nice play by O'Sullivan. He was blocked on his forehand. He just spun around through in the front. Bauman came in. Unfortunately, couldn't get good wood on it. I think it was right in between the skates, right to center ice. But the tough part for Wakona is they've been sitting on their heels just dumping it in. Now they got to work about offensively. I don't think they're able to do it. Face off to the left of Risley. Harris from the point. Shot tipped in front. Puck is loose. Oh, and skated out by Wakona. This is Poplowski now. Poplowski centering pass to LaPierre. LaPierre broken up. Poplowski now behind the net for Wakona in the corner. Alfonso after it. Centering pass deflected wide. Actually deflected by Drew. Out to Roach. 40 seconds left. Roach into Wakona territory. Into the corner. Quick line change for Greenfield. Barnes is out there. Wakona slams it around the boards. Kevin Bauman pinches, keeps it in. Bauman now trying to knock it in front, can't do it. And Wakona is able to clear. McColdrick sends it right back in on Risley. That one had eyes. Risley blocked it. And LaPierre tripped at the blue line. No call. And Kevin Bauman now knocks it into Wakona territory behind the net. Ten seconds left in regulation. It looks like we're going to overtime. Four, three, we are gonna have to play an extra at least eight minutes to see what happens in this game. We'll take a 30 second break. We're gonna come back and set up overtime at the end of regulation. Greenfield won, Wakona won. This is the MIAA Division 3A Hockey Playoffs on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. We are back here. We have played three periods, and we are all tied at one. Now we go to overtime, Todd Howe, and this is where it gets interesting. This is really interesting, and they're going to play four on four for eight minutes. The teams have switched ends, so now the goaltender is farthest away from their own bench. It's the politically correct term nowadays. It's sudden victory. First goal wins. <laughs> and like I said, it's going to be four on four, and if we're still tied after this eight minute, they're going to try it again. They're going to go three on three. Unfortunate thing about this is that Greenfield has been playing five on five and outscoring or out shooting them 37 to 15, and now they're switching to four and four, and that could add some light to Wakona. Also, this is, I think, where Greenfield has an advantage with their depth because they can run lots of different combinations out there. Right now, it's going to be O'Sullivan, Brian Bauman, Kevin Bauman, and Mike McGoldrick, the four on the ice, four on four for eight minutes. Again, sudden victory or sudden death, depending on your perspective. Face off, controlled by Greenfield. McColdrick dumps it in wide of Risley. Behind the net, next goal wins. The Western Mass Division 3A Championship. Doesn't get much more dramatic than this. No, right now they're just playing for possession. Wakona's holding the puck in their own defensive zone and now they're breaking it out. Bozanski with it now, up ahead for Rehoboth. Krohoboth with it now, short side. Saved by Drew, 
And Greenfield is able to clear the zone. It's deflected through, and this is going to be icing. They're going to bring it down, and they're going to face it off across from Drew with 7.22 to go on the 4-on-4 four four in sudden death overtime. Yeah, a little unfortunate in that icing call. I really thought the defensive player for Wakona was dogging it, and that caused the icing, and I don't think they caught it. They They're may move it over right now. Yeah, they may move it to center ice. I think that's where it belongs. That's because what they're going to do. It should have been waved off. Yep. They're going to move it to center ice. It should have been waved off. Absolutely good point by Todd Howe. And now, so we'll start off at center ice. Barnes, Roach, Harris, and Bryant. The four out there. This is sudden death overtime. We're tied at one. Next goal wins it. Off the draw. Roach now with it. Roach. Top of the blue line. Roach with it. Roach. Into the corner. Back to Bryant. Bryant. At the point, wrist shot, tipped in front. Puck is loose. And Wakona is able to clear the zone. Now a battle at center ice for it. And Krobeth now. Headman pass. LaPierre ends up with it. LaPierre hauls down. Roach. Roach hauls down LaPierre. No call either way. And Greenfield skates it out. This is Bryant. Bryant into Wakona territory. Bryant. Cycles down low, slides in front, nobody there. And we're coming back the other way. LaPierre up the right wing. LaPierre into Greenfield territory. LaPierre loses control of the puck, overskates it, and Greenfield's able to clear the zone. LaPierre back after it down, locks it back to his defenseman. 6.22 to go in the first overtime period. We're playing four on four, sudden death. Now Bryant with it. Bryant, headman pass, Bryant! Alone, shot, save, score! He got it! Brian Bowman on the feed from Bryant, and Greenfield wins the Western Mass Championship on a goal by Brian Bowman on the feed by Jake Bryant. Wow. You should see all the laundry on the ice right now. Greenfield's going nuts. The great thing here was, again, we talked about putting that puck in the air. Rizzo was saving them all. The two goals they scored stayed on the ice. Greenfield comes back after trailing for all but one minute and 42 of the game. They get the equalizer and they get the game winner in sudden death overtime. Greenfield has a day with Lunenburg. Berg at Holy Cross on Saturday for the state division 3A championship. Unbelievable. Great game. This is another game where you look at it and you say Greenfield dominated. It would have been heartbreaking to lose this one out shooting Wakona 37 to 15. But they played fantastic. And I think you can see the Wakona coaches aren't happy, but there were penalties not called on both sides. The, you could tell the tone of the game. The referees were saying, you know, this isn't going to be on us. You go win it. And so they didn't, they didn't call a lot of the little ticky-tack things. And again, they were just looking for scoring opportunities. It was a great play by Bryant. It didn't look like Bauman got a good handle on that puck, but he was able to slip it under Jake Risley, who had been a brick wall for almost this entire game. And that was all they needed. It was that one little backhander that scored underneath his pad. And the Greenfield Green Wave has won the Western Mass Division 3A championship. And now they take on Lunenburg for the state crown on Saturday. Unbelievable. Yeah, this was fantastic. Great play by Bryant. And that's the thing when you get four on four. He likes to carry the puck. He did a great job doing it. And really, Bauman was covered. He, the, guy, the defenseman was all over him. You can't say the D was weak on that goal. That was just a fantastic goal. He slid it between the two pads as Rizzi was just trying to cover the net. The final score, the Greenfield Green Wave defeats the Wakona Warriors 2-1 to one in overtime. We will take a 90-second break and come back and talk more about this one as Greenfield wins the crown in dramatic fashion. This is Hockey Night in Greenfield, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrow Insurance. Back out here at the Olympia Ice Arena, Greenfield being presented with the Western Mass Division 3A Hockey Championship. An overtime goal by Brian Bauman on a feed from Jake Bryant. And there we go, the Greenfield Green Wave. Holding
Kneeling aloft the championship trophy. This was the goal all season long. After two frustrating defeats in the semifinals the last two years, they wanted this championship badly, and they win it, Todd Howe. Yeah, I don't think they realize how old we are, <laughs> that we can take this kind of heart attack situation. But two games in a row, you know, one in overtime, one with two minutes left, and they tie it up with two minutes left. Well deserved. And they're taking the obligatory photo with the championship trophy. And there's going to be a caravan back to Greenfield tonight as the Wave champions of Division 3A. 2-1 winners. And again, it was set up by a goal by Jake Barnes and a feed from Brian Bauman with 142 left in regulation. And then Bauman on the feed from Bryant to sneak it home past Jake Risley, who played an unbelievable game for Wakona. You almost feel bad for that kid, the way he stood on his head to come out the loser here. But what a what a performance by the Greenfield Green Wave, who solidly outplayed Wakona the final two periods of this game. It was really not even close. In fact, at the end of that third period, it seemed like Wakona was just barely trying to survive. And uh, especially in the second period as well. Yeah, and it I really don't think it was wind. I, I just think Greenfield just took it over and they kept the offensive pressure on. And once they were able to back check, that really changed the game. Because Wakona, before in the first period, was able to grab the puck in their zone, skate it all the way up. Couldn't do it in the second and third. And I think one of the problems with Wakona was that they kind of got complacent. They were sitting on that one nothing game and they were dumping it in. They weren't, weren't playing offense. And I'm telling you, it's real tough to turn the switch. The Wave salutes the fans. And we're not done with hockey yet this season. We have a state championship game on Saturday at Holy Cross, Greenfield and Lunenburg for all the marbles in Division 3A. We'll take one more two minute break and come back and wrap things up. The final score, the Greenfield Green Wave 2, the Wakona Warriors won in overtime. This is the Western Mass Division 3A hockey championship on Bear Country. 95.3. Back at the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield, Chris Collins, Todd Howard, studio producer is Dave Reno. The Greenfield Green Wave wins the Western Mass Division 3A championship in overtime. Two to one over the Wakona Warriors. Greenfield trailed all the way until the 142 mark of the third period. Barnes with a goal from Bauman to tie it up and then Bauman with a goal from Bryant. A great feed to beat Jake Risley and Greenfield now goes on to the state championship on Saturday against Lunenburg. And Todd, you were there on the coaching staff for the last one of these championships. And now you're in the broadcast booth for this one. And as you said, this is the last Western Mass tournament they're gonna have because they're going to a statewide tournament. So they bookended it, pretty exciting. It is pretty exciting and this team made it exciting. Look, at their solid team. They outplayed pretty much everyone they went against on the ice. And the only thing that was gonna stop them was great goaltending, we saw that tonight. But Greenfield persevered. I love the fact that they're using set plays on the faceoff. And when they're able to win those set plays, they get that opportunity. And good for them. Like I said, keep the puck low on this guy. He's killing you. Anything off the ice. Let's see if we can get some rebounds. There were no rebounds there. Both goals were slid in on the ice. No friction. Now they take on a Ludenberg team that finished with a 13-9 record. Barely qualified for the playoffs. And again, we don't know what kind of... They've had one common opponent. And Greenfield beat the Aspen Valley team that they played. So we'll see what happens on Saturday, but I think that this is, you know, there's a good opportunity here for Greenfield to bring home a state championship on Saturday. Absolutely, they beat Aspen Valley Tech two nothing, and guess what? Um, this Lunenburg beat the same team five to three and three to one in the two times they faced them. So you can't get any closer than that. Lunenburg is probably the second hottest team in Western Mass right now because they started the season off so slow at three and seven. They powered through. They were the fifth seed in the tournament which means they had to play the four seed, they had to play the one seed, and then they had to win it all. And they've played well, and it's going to be a fun game. And I, I really can't wait. I haven't been in that Holy Cross arena. Neither so it'll be I. nice to see uh, Greenfield take it home from Worcester. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be on the air with it on Saturday, shortly before 3 o'clock with the pregame show as the wave goes for the D D3A state title against Lunenburg. And hey, do, do I get overtime pay? <laughs> you and me both. So that'll do it for our uh, coverage here tonight from the Olympian West Springfield. The nightcap game is Westside against Longmeadow. 
And we'll be back on Saturday with the Western Mass, or the state rather, Division 3A championship. For my broadcast partner, Todd Howe, for our studio producer, Dave Reno, I'm Chris Collins. The final score in overtime, the Greenfield Green Wave defeats the Wakona Warriors 2-1 to one to win the Western Mass D3A championship. So long from West Springfield. And welcome back to the Olympia in West Springfield. It's a crazy one. Only three goals in this one, so it's going to be quick to recap those. Wakona got the scoring started in the first period. Ryan LaPierre grabbed a turnover in the neutral zone, went in, beat Riley, drew clean. No fault to Riley's there, just a great goal by LaPierre. Staked Wakona to the 1-0 lead. They held on to that for most of the rest of the night. In fact, it took until there was a minute 25 remaining in regulation time. Riley had been pulled. Green Wave had six attackers on the ice. Kyle Barnes finished off a great one-time pass by, by Bowie Harris. Tied the game with just a minute 25 to go. That set the stage for some overtime. And as you well know, anything can happen in overtime, and it did. Just about a minute and a half in, Brian Bowman, Mr. Everything, captain, one of the captains of the Green Wave, buried the one-timer in from the from the top of the goal crease. There's a big schmazz around Jake Grizzly. Bowman buried that one-timer. Green Wave, two to one winners. Green Wave, Division 3A Western Mass Champions. The first championship for the Green Wave since 2008. Now they go on to the state finals, which will be taking place in a couple days out in Worcester. I just want to say it's been a pleasure to be with you all season long here on FCAT Sports. We look forward to doing it again next season. In the meantime, check out GreenWaveHockey.com for all things Green Wave Hockey. This is Lou Bordeaux saying good night from the Olympia.